Okay, let us look at example 5. Let's say question 8. We need x approaches 3, function is x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. So what what will what will you do? No. The first extension must be try to calculate first. Alright, don't simply get polynomial then you factorize. So just now what we learn is your basic, is your first extension. Once you substitute the value, you get that value, you settle for that digit. So jangan suka hati or more factorize, factorize, more conjugate, conjugate without any rational. So you come to here, when you substitute 3, what happened? 0 over 0. When you get this situation, then only we come to this this concept. When we get this situation 0 over 0 means our function is in indeterminate form. Mereka bermaksud function di sini yang diberi ini adalah bentuk yang tidak boleh ditentukan. Iyalah bila kamu substitute koordinat tak jumpa. Bentuk yang tidak boleh ditentukan. Bentuk yang tidak boleh ditentukan. So the case of the function is in the form of IDF. Alright. So, what we going to do when we meet the function which is IDF, then we figure out the notes here. Okay, look on the notes here. What we going to do? So, you, you're going to factorize or multiply with a suitable conjugate. Depends on your function. So, if your function is in the type of polynomial, we can factorize. If your function is in the type of third function, we are doing conjugate. Alright? So, in the in determinate form, IDF, you have to do simplify the function first. Linkaskan function itu sendiri dulu. Factorize ataupun conjugate. After that, you repeat the process. You repeat the process of the function. So, for example, sebelum ini, semua function yang dah ringkas. So, dia boleh bagi function yang susah, mungkin yang tak ringkas lagi. So, itu yang kerja yang kita buat. So, your first try, trying must be trying substitute value first. It's not straight away go to factorize. Go to conjugate. Okay? So, with the with the situation where your function is IDF and we look at this function is polynomial form, right? Quadratic over linear. So polynomial form we can do factorize. So for quadratic, we can factorize x plus 3, x minus 3. Then you can notice that your function which is IDF form, it can be simplified. So, bentuk function yang dibeli yang asal adalah bentuk yang tidak boleh mengira apa-apa. So, tetapi bila kita factorize ataupun kita buat conjugate mana-mana yang sesuai dah. Hmm, so, that pattern we can simplify. That function we can be simplified. So, after simplify that function, now you trying your limit for this function when you approaches to 3. Alright, so what is the answer? It will be equal to 6. So when we substitute the value, the notation of the limits, we know it to write again. Boleh? Boleh? So, jangan kelang kabut ya. Jangan kelang kabut ya. So, untuk nota di sini ialah untuk nota di sini ialah bila kita jumpa keadaan function yang memberikan koordinat kosong over kosong. 0 over 0. You press calculator, it cannot be defined anything. You can try press your calculator 0 over 0 max error. Cannot be count. Okay? So, in determinate form, bentuk yang tidak boleh menentukan apa-apa. 
Jadi, fungsi kamu perlu diringkaskan. Barulah dapat nampak dah. Ha, fungsi yang dah ringkaskan sebenarnya soalan fungsi ni sepatutnya macam ini. Barulah kita boleh buat ini. Okay. So, we try on question B. What would you do for the first step? You try substitute first. So when you substitute x equals to 1, obviously this factor gives you 0. Right? Then denominator, this one 1 plus 3 minus 4 also 0. So this is i. This function is idf. Therefore, our next step is going to simplify that function. By using the method of factorize or conjugate. Factorize or conjugate? Factorize. Why factorize? Because we have polynomial quadratic. We can further factorize completely. Alright, we have quadratic here. We can factorize it completely. So, what is this quadratic factorizing? x, x, 1, 4, so plus 3, plus 4, minus 1, correct? Yeah. Then, x squared minus 4 also can be factorized. It will be x minus x plus 2, x minus 2. So, the purpose for us doing factorize is, is, what's wrong now? Okay, for simplify the function. So you can notice that after you factorize, you're able to simplify your function, right? This factor, they can be simplified. It can be eliminate each other. Then what else? This x minus 2 factor also can be simplified. So notice that our limit of notation is still carry on writing. Because we haven't do any substitution value to find out the coordinates. Okay, so what is the simplest form that we get here for our function? 1 over x plus 4, x plus 2. So now we can try to find out the coordinates. Uh, then we can know our function is getting near to which value. So when we substitute the coordinate x is 1, so it will be 1 plus 4, 1 plus 2. So our function is nearly to the value of 1 over 15. Alright. Question, question C. Okay, so for this function, exponential function over exponential function, so our first as first trial here will be substitute the zero, right? E to the power of zero, one, one minus one, zero. So kalau bentuk dia IDF ke tak sebenarnya kamu pakai mata tengok macam secara lahir you benar nampak dah. Okay, so pengangka pun zero. So only zero over zero will be defined as indeterminate form. Alright, so for this case, how are we going to simplify? e to the power of 3x over e to the power of 2x. So we can do we can do long divisions, we can do factorizing, involving polynomial. So concept they are same, alright? They are same. So e 3x minus 1, you're going to divide with e 2x minus 1. Simplify the function. Uh, simplify the function first. So how many exponential that you need here? You need a e 
x. So that when you multiply this ex, you'll get e3x minus ex. Okay, so your balance will be e negative ex, negative ex minus 1. So this is exponential power of 2, this exponential power of 1. So it will be finished division already. Complete the division already, cannot divide anymore. Yes. The questions. The remainder e to x. Ah yes. Oh, zero minus yes. Zero minus negative positive. Your caution, ex, your reminder, ex minus 1 over divisor, e2x minus 1. So, is it this one function already simplified? No. Not yet. Not yet. Haven't simplified. You still can do your factorization where e2x can be factorized as ex plus 1, ex minus 1. Why? Because you can see it's in the form of a square b square, e2x minus 1. So what's your a? What's your a? e2x under the a square, so your a will be ex. So, kalau b square adalah 1, so b kamu adalah masih lagi 1. So, now you can notice that this factor can be simplified. Then we figure out this limit again. Substitute your x equals to 0. So the numerator already simplified, you get 1. So here is e0 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So it will be equals to 3 over 2. Okay, so next question, B. Limit when x approaches 2 for x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 4. Alright. So first, the substitute value of 2, it will be 0 over 0, it is IDF. So, for the next step, we're going to figure out how to simplify your function. So, for this function, it is a improper fraction because cubic is over quadratic. Improper fraction means for this polynomial, you still can be simplified by using long division. So, x cubed. Minus 8. 0x squared, 0x minus 8. So you need an x here to obtain result of x cubed. Reminder give you 4x minus 8. So right now the result of this long division portion is x reminder is 4x minus 8 over x squared minus 4. 
So you notice that you haven't doing any simplify yet. You haven't cancel anything yet. So proceed the proceed the process here. You can notice quadratic can be factorized. Four and eight here at numerator also can be factorized. You can factorize out your value of 4. This is x minus 2. For denominator, x minus 2, x plus 2. So, you have to get getting familiar with this pattern. a square minus c square. a square x square. b square is 4. That's amazing. a plus b, a minus b. So, from here you can notice that now your function can be simplified where your factor of x minus 2 can be cancelled. So means the next step, we can figure out our limit. So substitute the x value of 2 here. 2 plus 4. So this one already cancelled. means it is equal to 1 over 2 plus 2. So your function here will get into the value of 3.